Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Everyday Carry Flavor Everyday Guy, the Travex Cinch Belt. Have the guys at Travex found a, a niche in the EDC belt market that no one seems to have capitalized on, especially when it comes to comfort? Now, in order to understand why this belt works, we have to understand how and why a gun belt works or what you need a gun belt for. My standard jam when it comes to gun belts is Core Essentials has been for quite a while. I think they make amazing belts. So when Luke over at Woodsman Wears said he wants to hook me up with one of these Travax Cinch belts, I was like, dude, do you know what I normally run, right? Like, you know I run Core Essentials. And he was like, give it a shot and let me know. He feels there is application anyway. And I did just that. I've had it for, what's it? it's about a few months now. Um, and the belt runs, right? But I think what Travax have done is is found a way to make an EDC belt that you can carry your firearm with that is sort of a departure from the norm. Before we get into the why, let's talk about the what. The Travax Cinch belt comes with a um, really, really thin, heavy-duty buckle. The buckle is a single piece of anodized aerospace grade tempered aluminium. The webbing is heavy duty nylon webbing and that is it. It is as simple as it can come. It even says simple on the box, right? There are no moving parts in the Travax Cinch belt. The way it works is there's a small um, insert hole. You insert the belt in the one end or the webbing and you insert it through the other end and it cinches and it holds really really well now what Travax have done different to anybody is well two things one look at how thin that buckle is can my camera even focus on it look at how thin the buckle of the belt is versus the thickness of a core essentials buckle okay now for most people even like myself when i edc my appendix rig right, Southwest Alters Appendix Rig, I would carry the rig on the side, or the buckle, sorry, of the belt on the side of my pants. But I do know a lot of people want to EDC their appendix rig with the buckle in the center. With the Travax belt, that is not a problem. I'll roll in some shots of me running the belt. And as you can see, I can run the Travax cinch with a buckle in the center of my appendix holster and it doesn't print. Now, I am going to show you this with different holsters. I'll show it to you with different um, pants and all those things just so that it mitigates any kind of uh, uh, clothing that causes this, right? But the t-shirt I'm wearing is actually the t-shirt I'm wearing in this video. It's an Urban Warrior general tee. The Urban Warrior South African company makes clothing specifically designed for or to cater for your everyday carry. So if you are having an issue with clothing, definitely check them out on my website. But you can maintain a really high standard um, and still conceal really, really well. So where the cinch has differed is that they've gone for an ultra thin, ultra simple buckle. The webbing is not rigid on the horizontal. It's rigid on the vertical and it's not, not even that rigid, right? I can, I can crush this if I want to do, right? This I couldn't crush even if I wanted to. This is however rigid on the horizontal, okay? So here's why I think you can conceal really well with the cinch and why I think um, they might have found something that other manufacturers have overlooked with the belt not being too rigid but just rigid enough it wraps more tightly around your body if the belt wraps more tightly around your body it contours more to your body and if it contours more to your body it's going to apply the maximum effect on the claw of a holster especially an appendix holster well mainly appendix holsters obviously and because of that it tucks the firearm into your body really, really tightly. Also, it's really thin. And one of the things I thought was, well, this is too thin 
for my clips. And as I've EDC'd it, look, someone has to do it, right? I know people would say, oh, I'll never EDC a, a belt that is that thin because what if I go to draw and etc, etc. Listen, someone has to do it, okay? That someone is me. I don't mind doing it. I have to give it a try. Someone has to go first. I can tell you that not a single draw stroke have I had issues with the clips on this belt, right? As long as you're running high quality clips on high quality holster, you, and I've run it with J clips primarily, also run it with discrete carry concept clips, absolutely zero problems. I, I haven't fouled a draw stroke as a result of the clips coming undone one time. And I've done, I do a lot of dry fire. I'd spend a lot of time at the range. It keeps your pants up. It keeps your holster up. But there is no uh, added feeling of, what's the word, of rubbing against your skin, right? It's not so aggressive as other belts because whilst our bodies are mainly round, they're not completely round, right? They're more or less like, like, this is going to be weird, they're more or less like a that kind of shape. Now, this belt can conform to that kind of shape. I will be honest, on the comfort side of things, the Trayvac Cinch is more comfortable. Um, it just doesn't bother me to have the belt buckle on the side. Where the Core Essentials does come to the fore is that ratcheting system. Easy, easy open, easy loosen. That is really, really convenient for me. But in terms of comfort and the ability to carry your firearm with the buckle in the center, there's no one really that can compete with Trayvax. Now, this does come with Trayvax 65-year heirloom warranty. It is available in South Africa from the guys at Woodsman Wears. I'll leave them linked down below. If you buy it now or on the date of the release of this video, you might still get it on a Black Friday disc kind of thing. It's like 10% off. Um, and from my personal experience, it is a belt you can run with your EDC, with your appendix carry. Rig. I'm still testing the PL Pro R, PL, what's this thing called again? The Balder Pro R, oh like there's so many different names. But this is a heavy setup, right? This is a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of firearm here. Okay, so it is able to keep everything up and in place as it should. And I have worn it with my entire EDC on and my pants hasn't sagged. I wear true to size pants, I wear Urban Warrior clothing. Um, true to size, I don't wear bigger or smaller sized clothing. If you have to wear clothing that's too big for you, in order to conceal your firearm, you need to look at your holster, you need to look at your belt, and you need to look at Urban Warrior. As for the Trayvac Cinch, if you want something that is more discreet, more minimalistic, and maybe, I wouldn't say more capable of being worn with other outfits, because you can get Core Essentials belts that look like beautiful dress belts. But if you want an option other than Core Essentials, one other thing I also want to point out is, the Trayvac Cinch's clip, if you can even call it the clip of buckle, um, is like I said, it's really thin, but it's it's curved so that it curves around the front of your body and the front of your holster. So you don't get it standing out in any way, shape or form. A lot of other buckles are square, right? So they will naturally stand out. The Cinch buckle is curved. I think it's a really cool piece of gear. Um, it's held up really well and I'm really impressed. Guys, that is it. You can check this belt out and many other Trayvax IKEA items from the guys at Woodsman Wears. www.woodsmanwears.com. I will leave them linked down below. Huge thank you to Luke for hooking me up with this. If you want to wear this as an EDC belt, you absolutely can. Guys, that is it. Have a good week. Be safe. Train hard. Cheers. God bless.